Okay, we're back. We're going to make this little uh, two and a half inch cell with the magnesium slugging. You see this is much easier to do. And there's the hydrate mix, but we're going to test a new mixture. And uh, we don't want to say what that is at this time because we want to make sure that it works. Alright, so Chuck's going to fill this cell. We've also fired this copper because you can see the color of it. It's salmon color. And we only fired it a little bit until it changed color because otherwise it gets too soft, I think, for the press. We'll be back. Okay, so we're going for the third pressing now. We're not going to take it down quite so far. And then we're just going to back off and come back and do it again. Okay, we're going for the last pressing now. But we're going to point out something after the copper went into the kiln. Um, it's expanded here and sort of expanded in the die. So we really don't want to try to push that much more on it. But we wanted to see if we made this semiconductor surface instead of having the material do it, um, what the difference is going to be, and then we'll show you the test results next. Okay, this is what the compacting looks like. And uh, we left the iron piece in here so we could clip to it because we want the full electron. So we'll take it over and start testing. Okay, anyway, back to our test cells. Chuck has put these two cells together and uh, actually just this one big one. It's dried out now and this is where it holds in current without any hydration. So 10 milliamps constant and uh, even when you short circuit the oscillator it's still way over see what it's doing because it's drying out so see it climbing back up there again so as it needs current it climbs up kind of in a unique function of this cell so here he's going to test this one now that we just made and no hydration, 10 milliamps. Go ahead and short circuit that oscillator over there. So short circuit current, what is it there? About 15. About 15 milliamps in holding. So that's good. So we wanted to share that with you. Now what we're going to do is, we didn't hydrate this, but what we're going to do is add a couple of drops of water to it. And uh, let you watch this here. We'll try to get this meter in the camera here. This is kind of hard to work with. So just go ahead and just add a couple of drops around the edge. A little bit more than that. Okay, and she's going to climb up and she's just sitting at 10 mils and that's without orienting it. So let's go ahead and show you that orientation one time. Just take the yellow wire. requires a tap. And now it'll orient itself and fall down where the cell wants to run. So what we're really looking at here is developing a cell that can stay between 10 and 15 milliamps 
constantly without any problem at all. And 10 milliamps to me is really good on these cells. And so we just thought we would share this with you. Let's add a little bit of hydration to the bottom and let the crystal do the rest. So we've done that and you can say it's pretty much the same, about 11 mils in holding. And so we want to, we actually want to hold this 11 mils constantly. So we're going to build another oscillator for this and then we'll be moving on next to the oscillator that we use on the, what we, what we use. So thanks for watching.